time to get up and get ready. Uh. Room service coffee is better than no coffee. And we're at halftime when it comes to curling my hair. Hair's done. Okay, here is my game day fit. Uh, leather trench, black jumpsuit, scarf. It's gonna be about 50 degrees and a little chilly. My uh, Hall of Fame pendant, of course. And uh, yeah, this works. I am game day ready. Really important question. What am I bringing to cover the Super Bowl? What goes in my plastic see-through represent Rams? pouch of course game day credential um, batteries and wires for charging my inside edition notebook pens mints tissues um, wallet cosmetics for touch-ups and reading glasses and sunglasses so I'm ready to go and of course throwing a cliff bar and water in my bag too so my crew and I are getting on the media bus this is coach number two to the Super Bowl. We're early. The early bird catches the worm. And there it is. First look at Allegiant Stadium this morning from the media bus. Lots of security everywhere, which is good. Credentials, you enter here? We're in. We made it. Success. Uh, that only took like an hour. The media is going to be penned before the game and during parts of the game. My crew and I um, get to go out to the field uh, for pregame. We're going to see all the pregame action and then, of course, halftime as well. And then I'll be roaming up in the stands interviewing celebrities and interesting people throughout the game. And we're going to bring it all to you on Inside Edition on Monday. So be sure to watch. But I'll also add some clips here throughout the day on social. As you can see, my uh, cameraman's getting ready for the game. Okay, I have been running all over the stadium since about four hours before the game started, and we are now getting ready to start the second quarter. Um, biggest score for me so far is that I just interviewed Randy Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes' mom. You can imagine, she is very, very nervous, but what was so cool is that at the end of the interview, she gifted me one of her homemade bracelets that she makes that says a uh, number 15, of course, for her son, but that's really sweet. Um, we are old friends, we go way, way back, and it's great to have her on Inside Edition. All right, after a lackluster first half of football, the Usher Halftime Show got people standing and cheering, the dancing, the singing, but especially the singing. There's the 
cheerleaders and there's the players. That's the Kansas City Chief cheerleaders, Kansas City players. They're awfully close. I hope they didn't get distracted. a very long day. I deserve this. Cheers and congratulations to the Chiefs.